tonight's production of Nana's Naughty Knickers. I'm Jim Miller, the director of the show, and real proud to be the director of this wonderful cast. We've got some first timers, and we've got some people that have done several shows, and so it's always fun to get new people involved, and just in case you're interested, and uh, you can get a hold of us. A couple of house things, noise devices, make sure they're not going to make any noise during the show for us, please. Um, the emergency exit. If that exit is plugged and we have to evacuate for some unknown reason, the other emergency exit is back there where you can't see it from here, the sign is covered. So through the stage or past the bathrooms and then there's a stair down and out that one. So just letting you know, just in case, hopefully nothing. Uh, we like to recycle, so if, if you don't want to keep your program afterwards, you can just leave it on the desk as you leave and, and we'll use them again. Um, fun show, we have, um, let's see, what did I want to say? There's something else I want to say. I can't remember. So, <laughs> without further ado, please enjoy Nana's Dog Diggers. <laughs> Sylvia, <laughs> give me that walker so I can beat 
you over the head with it. <laughs> Hi, Vera. Hey, kids. Don't mind me why I just lean up against here and die. Oh, stop being so dramatic. You almost caught up to me outside of Saks Fifth Avenue. That's only because you stopped at the lingerie display. Well, I couldn't help myself. I spent 20 years working for Maine for. Oh, God, bras on the brain, my heart. Oh, shut up. You shut up. <laughs> why don't I help you to the couch? Sure. Thanks, kid. Oh, I know what will cure your heart ailment, Vera. What? Officer Tom. Oh, he's here? Where? How do I look, kid? <laughs> like you just chased Nana 20 blocks. Oh, you got us something right here. I'll get it myself. I do have to say, I have a very strong, randomly interest in that young man. Oh, good afternoon, Sylvia. Hello, Mrs. Walton. Nice to see you both. Oh, Thomas. There's no one who to help Bridgie with her things. Such a big, strong police officer like you. You're a real comfort to have around. Oh, gee, thanks, Sylvia. You know I'm still new to the force and the other guys hassle me a bit. Oh, no. Yeah, well, they say I'm too soft, and that's not true or anything. It's just that I really like helping people. Oh, of course you do, dear. Oh, wait, hold still a second. You got something on your cheek. Oh, your skin is so soft! <laughs> what kind of moisturizer do you use? Oh, Nana! Oh, well, you come by, dear, in your break, and I'll have some cookies ready for you. Bridget will help me make them. Won't you, Bridget? You don't bake? Well, Thomas, we don't want to keep you from your job any longer. You come by soon. Let's do that, thanks. Uh, Bridget, do you need any help putting these boxes in your room? Oh, sure, actually, that'd be great. That one has my dishes and things in it. Do you think you can help me shove it into the top shelf in the closet? Sure. Uh, no! No, no. You put that box down there. Don't worry about a thing. Really, it's no problem. I don't want you to strain yourself. Uh, Nana, it's no strain. He's actually tall enough to reach it. I'll put it up there later. How? You haven't been able to lift your arms above your head since 98. I'll use a ladder. Thomas, we don't want to get you to any trouble, so you really ought to be going now. All right. Well, bye, ladies. Uh, bye. bye, Bridge. Bye. Oh, I'll see you later. What on earth was wrong with Tom going into the closet? Oh, like I said, I didn't want him to straighten himself. Oh, come on now, Cornflake. That wasn't embarrassing you in front of anybody. Vera <laughs> probably can't even hear me. I can, actually. I just wish I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a little weird, that's all. Nonsense! I didn't want him to straighten himself. I take care of all the men in my life in special ways. Men? Well, well yes. Well, there's sweet little Thomas, of course. And then there's old Mr. Tompkins, the man at the desk downstairs. Well, I give him treats now and then, as long as he's behaving. You what? There are many things in that sentence you just don't want to know about. <laughs> <laughs> well, and then there's Mr. Schmidt. Who's that? Our landlord. That penny pincher? He charges the highest rate this side of Duck Pond, except for Sylvia, of course. I got in on the ground floor. Rent control keeps me paying a fraction of what everyone else has to. Mr. Haven never seems to mind, but oh, it gets under Schmidt's skin. So how do you take care of him? Oh, I act like Vera. The more senile he thinks I am, the happier he gets. The frailer I act, the closer he thinks I'm getting to the rent-free apartment in the sky. Or assisted living. I don't think he has a preference. <laughs> Nothing like the prospect of a good, good funeral to get people lighthearted again. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yes? Mrs. Charles, it's right when you get this drop back. Do you want one of the boys to run it up? My dry cleaning? Yeah, the frilly stuff that you had. Oh, 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 yes! looks constipated. <laughs> uh, do you think you can send it up later? Uh, okay, Mrs. Charles, I guess I could. Oh, Nana, if you don't want them to send anything, 
no fault to you. Oh, no! No, you had a long day. If you need to run downstairs and get anything. Uh, yes, are you still there? It's what seems so. I'll be right down to get it. Uh, Nana, why don't I go on down and get it for you? No! No, you won't be down. Yes, I will be down. Now wait for me. Only me. Over and out. <laughs> and poor nobody. Are you sure you're okay? Oh, I'm fine. Oh, but you, Bridget, you look tired. Why don't you come and lie down?
just because I happen to have a few lingerie articles. A few? Nana, you can include all the rockets for a slumber party and still have outfits to spare. I am not running a brothel, and I'm not clothing the rockets. Then what exactly are you doing? Well, I wasn't going to tell you, but clearly you two busybodies have given me no choice.
chickens? Yes, like spring chickens, only older. <laughs> <laughs> They're clients of mine who agreed to model for the web space on Korea. Oh, oh, it's almost ready to go up on that interweb. What <laughs> web? Nana, this is all you have, right? Oh, no, there's more. Really? <laughs> so you. It's just that it's illegal, you know. Oh, don't be silly. Nothing illegal going on here. Just 
my boxes with my things in them. It is illegal, Bridget, and I'm really sorry and I'm not angry or anything, but I did ask you to move your car, and well, if you don't, I might have to give you a... Okay. Ooh. Don't mind with the little crunch. The black in there's supposed to be good for your teeth or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> oh, the car. I didn't move the car. I know.
call me if a uh, visitor any, she gets any visitors or what time she leaves to walk the dog or she doesn't she have a dog. I just do some detective work. Oh, I'll do that. I've always dreamed of being a detective ever since I read those Hottie Boy books back when I was a kid. Yeah, that's really great, I guess. Look, just call me if remember to call me if any funny business happens. Sure, anything to help out Sylvia.
Vera and I will be the models. I'm just nervous about doing it. Oh, Vera's right. I need you to do this with us and for support. Oh. Yeah. For emotional support, camaraderie, etc., etc. Oh, please, it'll be such fun. Think I'm curious to see what my designs will look like on the younger gal anyways. Ah, Sylvie, you should branch out for six under sixty set. <laughs> and think of the stories that we'll make one day. Oh God. Yeah. Oh please, Bridget, it would be fun. Great, she'll do it. Let's get the show on the road. <laughs>
downstairs. Well, go and get them, dear. Well, where do you want this box? Oh, right here. Oh, okay. Oh, great. Thank you, dear. Hurry back. sewing company, but, oh my god. Oh, are they too wonderful for words? Nana, they're pornographic. Don't be silly. My taste level is very... Oh, dear. I certainly did not order that. What is that man doing? And this one? Oh, absolutely not! It's not even the color scheme I ordered. What do we have here, ladies? More flips for me to model? Sylvia, I refuse to pose like this. They're not mine. What does my happy slip say? Saucy lips. Saucy lips? Boldly oh. going where no lips have gone before, but there's a website too. <laughs> Start chanting toga. I am jumping out the window. Bridget! So 
Sylvia! Vera! Cockers are getting cranky. I even heard that one. <laughs> you don't answer the door by the time I count to five, I'm doubling the fine. Oh, you gotta get rid of this while Vera and I start recreating the order. How? Why? Drive later. Right. 
I'm on the job right now. I take it you're... Oh, Mary, uh, Bloody Mary with some celery. Uh, it's really good in the early afternoon. No, I'm on the clock inside. I have gum. <laughs> Oh. And the den can be hammered. 
it out eventually. <laughs> Calm down, have yourself another drink. <laughs> okay. Sylvia, <laughs> your granddaughter is high strung. Uh, look, it doesn't come from my side of the family. Of course not. Hey, <coughs> how's that order coming? Oh, a order. I almost forgot it. You haven't done anything with the order while I was gone? You mean the order we got by thick? Oh, that's the one. We've been trying to recreate it, but... Oh. It's hard to find good help, you know. I have an idea. Mm. Oh, great. Here we go. <laughs> well, it's more of a business proposal. Oh, lay it on me. I take these boxes, run back down to Saucy Lips, grab yours, and bring them back here. Oh, really? You would do that? Well, uh, <laughs> not for nothing. You would have to hire me. I do charge a very fair hour. <laughs> Are you kidding? The art thing was a joke, actually. I, I just want to be on payroll, Sylvia. You have such a great setup here. I could help run the store, provide some real customer service, while you and me and you design. I'm a model, actually. Oh, I can tell. <laughs>
all beginning to make sense. Uh, no. <laughs> the whips. Nothing. The slips. Sense. The chains. Your nan is winning a prostitution ring, isn't she? Uh. A prostitution ring for senior citizens. <laughs> I didn't believe it when Mr. Schmidt said something fishy was going on here, but he was right. Oh, that's Mr. Sh uh, Schmidt. <laughs>
explain this in a way that you can most clearly understand. You know that black lacy thing I bought a month ago for our anniversary? And that certain something that you just love to take off of me? Celia <laughs> made those. So if you evict her or shut down her business or any combination thereof, then I'll be wearing nothing but flannel pants and smelly old t-shirts to bed from now on. In other words, if you shut her down, I'll shut you down. <laughs> Sylvia, what time shall I come by tomorrow for my order? I can run back down right now and pick him up if you'd like. Oh, that would be perfect, Heather. I know I messed up, but do I still have the job? Of course you do, dear. Doesn't she, Gil? Uh, uh, yes, she does. Oh, uh, Mr. Schmidt, does this mean that you're not going to shut down my business? Not shutting you down. Or evicting her? Not doing that either. Oh, Gil, you're such a lamb. And have dinner ready and the laundry done by the time I get home. And <laughs> Sylvia, I've got five of those red pointy things out in the hall. Oh, Nana was right. Your skin is really soft. 